Okay, let's go through um, this example on aqueous complexation reaction. How to set this up um, with zero dimension, essentially closed, well mixed system in crunch flow. This is for lesson one in the aqueous complexation um, unit uh, lesson. So let's just go through the example. We have a closed. We have a closed carbon system, as in example one, where we already talk about um, primary species, secondary species. What's the general principle of using um, picking primary species and secondary species? These are very important concepts. Um, so here we have an example with a total inorganic carbon contention equals. Uh, 10 to minus 3 more per liter. Okay, TIC, 10 to minus 3 more per liter. Um, so essentially, you would have um, the question is first of all, at the pH of the system is 7.0, what are the contributions of all involved species? We already talked about this. It should be a carbon system, we should have um, hydrogen, um, OH minus, and all the three um, carbon species, right? You, ha you should have um, carbonic acid, bicarbonate, and carbonate. So the total contribution 10 to minus 3, pH is 7.0. Let's set this up. OK, so again, I'm opening this folder. Let's open that folder. That's one, for example. So again, you see the four different um, files that are required to have in order to run the simulation. You have the executable, you have the um, library file, input file, and uh, database. So what, I'm, what I have here is uh, is a template okay? So I have all the different. Um, there's, there's some keyword blocks already there. Let's put this title. Um, lesson one. Equus compressation. Complexation. And then you have all these okay database files. Is is already specified. These should, shouldn't be changed things much. Okay, so, and the output file. When you have time dimension, notice here is that in lesson one, because we are only talk about reaction thermodynamics, so there's no kinetics involved. So there's no need of involving the time dimension as well. So it's zero space dimension and no time dimension at all. It's a simple system you can get. Um, so it's, uh, uh, everything is at equilibrium because the only equal compensation reactions in these reactions are really fast. Okay, so we don't need output to put anything in output. This is for when you have time dimension. Uh, we don't need discretization because this is used when you have space dimension. Uh, we also don't need boundary condition, initial condition because we we don't have either space and time dimension. So all you need, we don't have transport, we don't have flow, we don't have parse media, no porosity. So all you need is putting in primary species and secondary species, right? So what are the primary species we talk about? The primary species are the building block of the system. And we need to be, is this need to be in this system that you have carbonate, you have CO2, the three CO2 species you have um, the pH and everything, right? So you should have, let's say, um, you at least should have H plus, right? We always use H plus as primary species because it's so important. And we can also put, because we need to put at least one of the carbon species, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to build up 
other species as a second species, right? So then you also have um, corresponding to the OH plus, you should have O hydroxide. Um, you should have CO2 AQ. You should have. And you also should have um, carbonate. Three. Okay, these three species. Now you have five different species. So this is like the example that you were talking about. We were talking about in this example one closed carbonate system, right? You only have these three species, three reactions. <coughs> you have five species in total, so then you have two primary species and three secondary species. And everything, all the second species can be ex expressed in, in primary species. Okay, good. So in this, um, so we have all these species. Now it's saying that the question one is, pH is 7.0. And we know the total inorganic carbon, carbon species is 10 to minus 3 more per liter. So let's look at where should we put in these. So we should have conditions, right? In the units is more per liter instead of more per kilogram. We always specify. Let's let's call that condition um, pH seven maybe. Because later on we'll be doing other pH conditions, so I think it's useful to have. Name the pH, the, the 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 condition name with our variable. So pH is let's specify. When we specify pH, we more or less can already um, specify the pH condition, the hydrogen ion concentration, right? And another condition we need to do is for um, the other uh, primary species, which is bicarbonate. And here, when we specify Bicarbonate. This is this should be already specified in total concentration. There are several there are several choices in controls that you can use to specify what are different conditions. Let's just uh, um, search condition to make sure. That's how I do. Um, do chemical condition. Anyway, let's see. let's see. I think we're almost there. These are for the runtime conditions. Okay, let's just let me just pull down. So this this part, page. 48 is talking about input file entry of primary species. You can look through what you put in for the primary species. It has to be coming from the primary species block of the database, as we talked about last time. And the second species has to be coming from the second second species block. But um, you actually can specify, for example, for one of the uh, carbon species, you can specify one of them. The code uh, uses the basis switch technique. It can, um, you can pick any one of the carbon species at primary species, the code kind of know and can translate between the different, um, which one you choose primary and which one use uh, secondary species. Um, so it's, it's fine to, to either pick carbonic acid or bicarbonate, bicarbonate or carbon, even when the, the in the database bicarbonate is in primary species, while the other two are not in primary species. 
they could use basic basic switching technique to switch between the two. So it's okay as long as you choose one of them. Can't believe I still haven't found it. Okay, let's see. Kinetics. These are all about database that we talked about last time. Okay. Aqueous species. This is a page you need. Page 65. So, um, type of constraint for concentrations, aqueous species. You can put, okay, so there's, this table is useful. If you want to put constraint for total concentration, you can just, let's say you want to put sodium concentration 0 0.001, you just put the total concentration, there. so you have to use it for when you have more balance on total aqueous or total aqueous plus solid soft concentration. Point zero. So by default is total concentration when you specify. If you want to specify individual species concentration, then you should have a species after the number. So here it's saying the total concentration of sodium is 0.001. So the sodium, when they are in, when it's in water, it can be Na plus free species and also Na chloride or NaOH, um, but as they add up to be 0 0.001. Now in the second choice here is essentially saying you would have Na, um, only the free sodium have the concentration 0 0.001, and then other species are calculated based on this um, and their equivalent constants. And then there is a species activity. You can you should specify sodium plus 0 0.001 and specify that's activity. So this differs. So if you have activity coefficient equal to one, these two wouldn't make much difference. But if you are in a in a um, highly concentrated solution, these two will make a difference. You can specify pH, a specific number like what we just did. You can also specify concentration in terms of the equilibrium with the gas phase. For example, oxygen, if you want to specify aqueous oxygen as in equilibrium with, with gas oxygen at the partial pressure of 0 0.20 atmosphere, this is what you do. Or if you want to equilibrate your primary species with a mineral, for example, oxygen AQ with pyrite. Or if you want specify charge balance, you can do sodium charge. That will ensure charge balance is uh, uh, is specified. Okay, charge balance is, is honored. Okay, so this is what we do. And and here other things, other these later, the menu talk about how it does these calculations. Um, let's ignore this. So let's go back to the input file. Okay, so here essentially this is in the same format as, for example, here. So that means you know, we are specifying total concentration, which is consistent with the condition we're given here 10 to minus 3 um, more per liter, right? Okay, so that's good. Okay. So if we do that, then we should be able to calculate. Um, don't need another condition. We only need one condition. That's good. All right. So let's run this. We know all these species are in the aqueous phase, are in the database. So we don't need to check that. Let's run that. So we will be putting in one lesson. Example one point input file. Concentration units not recognized. Okay. Looks like we um units okay more let's just check on the um again, right? We have in the condition, we have more per liter, um, and uh, so I, I search units, um, and it jump to country units, right? So there's 
different country units there. Okay. So it should be always more per liter, uh, millimole per liter, or uh, micromole per liter, or uh, ppm. So more per liter is not there, right? So this is how you, if things are not working, let's go back to this is to the menu again to see where it went. So we have to do more per kilogram of water. Now in dilute solution, it doesn't really matter if it's um, uh, more per liter or more per kilogram water, it's the same thing. But if it's very concentrated, then you might need to do some conversion based on the activity coefficient and all that. Uh, based on the density, right? Okay, here, so let's say we change it back to more per kilogram, which is almost, let me transpose it. A note here, in dilute solution, which is what we have here. So, more per kilogram approximates if it's a concentrated concentration, this liter water versus the kilogram of water is different. So you, you need to use a density to kind of convert between the two. All right, let's see. Let's run again. pH seven point one initial initialization condition speciation of initial and boundary condition successfully completed. No equis kinetic rock found and Z Okay, so that's what happened when you have No initial condition. Okay, so let's specify. This means you will need to specify a discretization. Let's try that. Okay, this is how you run. You you have no guarantee that you always get the right right um, answer un, until you have, for example, you are really familiar with the code. Sometimes you still make mistakes. So this is how you use it and learn. And I'm I'm trying to show the process of this so eventually we will we, we'll get to it how we can get this, that run. So discretization, let's say you need to put one for um equilibrium so it shouldn't really matter. Let's say we put units of We need to put con you will need to put this condition in the initial um, initial condition, then it will be due to speciation. All the other way you to do it is specify this is only going to be speciation only. Let's do that. Let's just make sure we are running the right thing. Interesting. They might change the code, let's see. Different from previous version.
used to be a speciation only um, keyword. See, there's a species only. Okay, that's what. So let's see. This is going to page forty-two. You can go through in table kind of the list of um, in the table kind of the list of all the keywords. So this is another way of getting fast hold of the keyword you need. Because so example we have is only only some dynamics, no um no time stepping, right? So you don't really don't need initiation. So let's say we put a special only speciate only with two. So then it should be running just a speciation reaction. Without the necessary setting up initial condition and everything. Let's try that. Completed. That mean it's 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 run. So always when you have input file, you, you have the same. So there will be another corresponding output file. Let's this is I I talked about before. It's uh, kind of anchoring what has been done. Leading in the system, and actually for just equal speciation reaction, this is essentially the initial initialization process, uh, going through the initialization process, and for just equal complexity because we don't need time stepping, this is all it does. It reading the total concentration, um, reading for example the pH, temperature, decide which one it the the code will be, what condition in terms of temperature. Um, pH condition, and then it's calculating the concentration of all the individual species. Now, if you look through this, okay, these are all the discriminant and everything. It reads in number component, which is the primary species. Number of second species as three. Number of gas, number of kinetic energy. We don't have all these, and it reads in the log k value of the um, these these equal complexation reactions, right? So for OH is with each price is lucky is is fourteen point thirteen point nine nine. This CO2. So you, you want to make sure the log k value that reading is correct. If it's not correct then you need to make some um make sure they are they are they are the right number. So here it have condition it reads in condition it reads it said primary species uh, by company and then it has the gas it the code needs initial gas to start the simulation total concentration constraint phase right so total concentration by company is this so it reads in everything correctly and then it does the speciation geochemical conditions so speciation process is part of the initialization now it anchors all the geochemical condition you have. Temperature, we didn't specify porosity, so the default is 1. Saturation is 1. Liquid density is, is this. Solid density, no. Ionic strength. Um, solution pH is 7. Total charge is this. So if you want to specify, um, here we didn't really specify a charge balance. We can specify a charge balance if you want. We can do it in another example. Okay, then the code is actually calculate. Um, the individual species, right? Log activity, activity. H plus by carbon and OH minus CH2, so it has a molarity of the different species. The activity, all these are pretty close to one. 
carbon is relatively small because it has two diff two charges, so it's it's relatively small. Everything else is very close to one. It has activity. So now you can calculate. You can answer the question saying how much what is um, um, concentration of individual species. That that answers the question one in the example. Okay, so second question is asking you to do concentration all individual at pH from two, six, seven, eight, nine. So essentially, it will be very similar to what you have in question one, except that you are going to do different and different temperatures, at uh, different pH conditions. So you can one way you can do it is you copy the condition then specify. Two point zero, for example, then you sh here you should have two point zero instead of seven point zero. Four point zero. Six point zero, and here should be okay. I'm sorry. Four, six, Okay, so we have all the conditions. Essentially, you kind of do this in in one file, which is convenient. So if everything else is the same, only the pH is different, right? So if you run it again, you will see the effect of pH. Now, when we do this, run this again, um, it was a new output file will replace old output file, but we still have that condition for seven point zero there. So it's, it's this output will still be there. So it should have give you each the speciation of each condition. It's essentially reading all the different conditions. And then 7.0 is the first, and it's there. It's calculate 7.0. And then you have condition 2.0. Four point zero. So here you see pH is this. You have this. You have you have another set of um, concentration and everything. You have another set of concentration. So it essentially give you the concentration of um, different species under different pH conditions, and you can you can pull these numbers out in in either Excel file or whatever to plot. Uh, what is asked for pH as a function? This as a function pH. Now, it, what if the plot is as a function pH? That's, that's question three. And you can see under what pH condition do these different species dominate, right? Now, what if we try to run this with um, charge balanced? You can see that in that condition, charge is not balanced, right? So let's do p seven point zero. Let's do just do another example. Instead of specifying, let's let's call that pH seven point zero charge, 
and maybe we will see you can almost see from the output right now at 7.0 So total, if we do not specify charge balance, it's a negative charge. That means in order to have charge balance, you need to make a positive charged species um, to do the charge balance, to kind of balance out this, right? So we should do, instead of doing by come, we should do the pH calculate from charge balance. Let's try that. And same thing for other situations. If you want to make sure charge is balanced, you need to make sure that um, it's the right species, either positive or, or, or positive charge or negative charge in order to balance. And how you get the clue is from when you did not run the, the, the charge balance, what is the uh, total charge? Come is that positive? For example, pH 2.0, if you do charge balance, you need to use, this is already positive charge, so you need a negative charge species to make charge balance, for example. So then when you do pH 2.0 for charge balance, you need to put, let's see, just for an example. Then you should put, let's call it again, charge. And then you should have bicarbonate charge because it's because it's positive charge already. OK, let's run it again to see how it works. Curious how that will come up with. Okay, so and again, all this. Let's just look at the top two. 7.0, you still have this, right? And then when you have 7.0 charge, you see now the total charge is very small, so charge is more or less balanced. Now the solution pH will have to be 4. Point, almost 4.7 in order to have um, total. By carbonate being in in the concentration of 10 to minus 3, you, you have to have a solution pH of 4.7 in order to balance it out, which is very different from 7.0. And of course, then the concentration of the different species will be also very different, right? Hydrogen, H plus, OH minus, bicarbonate, carbon, they are all very different now. Let, and if you look at the pH 2, is this. And with the pH2 charge, again, this is much smaller number than the previous one. You will need um, very, very high concentration of carbonate in order to have charge balance with the pH2. Right, because at pH 2, it should be the carbonic acid being dominating species. And you don't have that. And, and so you need bicarbonate and carbonate to charge it to maintain charge balance. And these concentrations are very small. So in order to balance it, you, you need to have very, very high concentration of, um, of inorganic carbon or um, or by company to balance it out. So in order to have that, you need a very high total inorganic carbon. So that is what this is. This is very high, um, unrealistically high concentrations. So this is essentially it's all, almost like saying at some point, you can, uh, at pH 2.0, um, 
it's it's very hard to get contagion pH two point zero in a system that you only have um, uh, carbon inorganic carbon species. All right, so I think that we 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 are we are good with this example. Um, so the take home practice one essentially asking you to add calcium in the simulation and answer this question. I think it would be an interesting exercise. One give you just to give you hints, the only thing you need to do is having uh, another total calcium contribution. And you can specify and you put this I'm I'm going to change it to make you um have it to be charge balanced. And you need to to make sure charge is balanced in the system. So um, let's do this. And then you have another homework assignment with question one, question two, um, with different. Uh, the question one is still the the carbon system with an open system. So you have uh, PCO two of this. So you can look at in the menu of different constraints. You should make it with CO2 gas in the 10 to minus 3.5. And then you also question two is for metal complexation in seawater. And you can specify different species and everything. Make sure you check which uh, secondary species, species might be dominant. OK, so I think this is for now. And I'm going to close that. And we, we, we can uh, um, talk about it again once we you are, you are finished the homework. This should give, give, you, give you enough exercise to work on it. This finishes lesson one.